Hello, this is how to use groups in game lab on code.org. So from the dashboard, you'll want to click create in game lab to get a new empty project. And you'll notice we have these, color, these colorful drawers in the toolbox, and one of them is called groups. There are a lot of cool things in groups, but we can't use any of them until we have some things to put into the group. So the first thing I'm going to do is make three sprites. So I've clicked over here on sprites, and I'm just going to grab three of them. And I'm going to call them red, green, and blue. And then I need to draw them on the screen. Okay, so they're all in the same position, the same X and Y position. So I'm going to make this first one at 100, leave the second one at 200, and move the, the third one to 300 so that we can see all three of them. Okay. Now I'm going to set each one to a different color. So I'm going to come down here, and you could just give them a picture, but I'm just, because I think it's a little faster, I'm just going to use the shape color for each one. All right, so for the red one, I'm going to give it the color to equal red in quotation marks. Green is going to be green in quotation marks. Blue is going to be blue quotation marks like that, so we should be able to see the difference between them. Okay, now that we have them, let's go back to groups, which is kind of the point. And at the very top, there's a var group. So let's make a group and let's call it, you know what, this first time, let's just call it group. And now the second block says group add. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say group add red. Got to spell it right. And then I'm going to say group add blue, and group add green, so that all three colors will be in the group like that. All right, so now I can use any of these group blocks to control all three of them at the same time. So why don't we just do uh, group point two in some location. So why don't we just point to wherever our mouse is. So in the X blank I'll put world mouse X, and in the Y blank I'll put world mouse Y, that should, that should make all three of the elements of the group follow my mouse. You can see we're getting a bit of overlap, so let's just add in a background. And you should be able to see that all three of them are following the cursor. That's how you do it. 